Here we have assembled the tools for the job. Some isopropyl alcohol, 50%. A pick, really not needed, but it helps. Flathead screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver. A couple of Q-tips, some paper towels, and of course our patient, Johnny Five. We have a Roomba i7 from iRobot that me and the wife affectionately call Johnny Five. We have four dogs in our house, two of them uh, might qualify for a horse, pretty big dogs. So the first thing we start out with is this caster here, pretty easy. Once you get a hold of it, you just pull out on that caster. As you can see, we're already finding some dirt. Uh, the wheel just kind of pops out there. The axle that's in there likes to get hair around it. So I'll take one of my towels, clean down in there real good, wipe the caster assembly. Wipe the wheel real good. All right, it is the exact opposite of disassembly. Make sure it spins freely. Make sure all that dog hair is actually out of there. And then, just press it back in place. Make sure it spins pretty freely. So the next thing that we have, this is actually a replaceable part, the little brush, uh, flathead, basically just hold it in place, righty tighty, lefty loosey. This screw will not back all the way out, but it will get to a point where it'll no longer spin or it'll no longer come out anymore. Uh, this one, I don't think it's quite ready for replacement. I mean, I could, but why waste the money? Just pull some of that hair out. That's, that's looking pretty good. So now that we've got that out, that's pretty clean. Wipe that out. All right. Just like before, give it a little press down. Again, righty tighty, lefty loosey. A little German torque will work good and tight. So now we come to the wheels. So I press down in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little crevice in there we can get in. Wipe it all out. Make sure all the hair and dust and everything's out of there. Same on this side. I mean, he's not horribly dirty, but the wife was saying he was having couple little issues probably more along the lines with the sensors but if I have them out might as well so the next thing we're gonna do is these little rollers which kind of take the place of traditional brushes uh, on a vacuum little lever here the little green one you put your finger in there kind of pull up and that opens everything up so we'll start with this one uh, there's a little crevice down in there that does collect some hairs. It's not too bad. The other side's actually worse, typically. So that little, I guess, gear comes out. Just pull it out. And this is where the hair really likes to get down into. So you just pull it out. Again, don't lose it. Assembly is just the reverse. All right, so. Ah, there we go. All right, so again, this side, like I said, the little gray side, if you give a little squeeze right there, it helps, I mean, it's soft rubber. Uh, little hair on there. Definitely some hair down in there. All right, so down here, we do have a little bit more hair. 
So we can just run our finger in there and get the bulk of it. The rest of the dog brought in. All right, so I'm gonna use my Q-tip to kind of get in that spot where my fat finger doesn't want to go. All right. All right. So now we're going to put this back in. I lied. Look at me. All right. So that goes together right there. Once it goes in the hole, you can see. Okay, almost done. All right, so lever goes back down. Now we'll focus on these sensors. This is where that alcohol comes in. There's a couple different sensors on here. One, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom. And the reason why uh, I use isopropyl alcohol is just that whenever it dries, Whenever it evaporates, it doesn't leave a film. Doesn't leave residue. I like that, it's quick drying. So all you really have to do, give it a good wipe down. Um, I'm actually gonna, so once I take this filter out, we do not wanna get it wet at all. It's a paper element. Uh, so if you do, you'll ruin it. The i7 does come with a spare, which I like to use. Um, I will just go out to the shop, take compressed air, blow it through this side. So as it sits in the bin, the air comes in through here, it's filtered, exhaust here. So if we go the exact opposite, we can get a little bit more life out of the filter. Save a little money, and uh, the missus really loves that. So I'm going to take this to the sink. It now does not have anything that we're worried about getting wet. So I'll just take it to the sink, uh, wash it out. Uh, I'm gonna let the bin, I wash it off in the sink. I'm gonna let it uh, dry overnight just because it's electronics and uh, this guy was pretty expensive. So I'm gonna let it dry overnight before I put them back together and uh, and use it. I mean, it's as simple as you put it back in here and it's ready to go. I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down in here. It's not too dirty, but Give it a quick wipe down. All right. Uh, one thing I missed before is the charging ports. I will go ahead, again, use some alcohol. Just give those ports a good light scrub. And Johnny. Good to go. Number five is alive. <laughs>